It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2002, recorded Thursday, August 23rd, 2024. Shake and wake. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D has a brand new anchor product that I think I will love. A new way to make iced coffee, not overnight, but in a minute. And I have our la our our next time-based gadget in the crappy corner. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same ah. show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Going blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now, and here he is, Mr. Lithium Ion, Dick <laughs> D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very, very good. We are um, we're recording on a Friday, not a Thursday, because you had an, uh, an a premiere, a movie premiere. A, a movie last premiere. Night. Did you get the three sh uh, pictures I sent? Oh my gosh! Let me double check. They're uh, in an I'm email. Sure I, I forgot to ask ready. you. They uh -huh. are actually in the email itself. It was no, the I premiere of something called "When We Went Mad," <laughs> which is a documentary, the history of Mad Magazine. And it's by a group of people who do not have a market for it yet, but they, um, actually, they did a, a, a really great job uh, doing it with how Med almost went out of business, how Bill Gaines was used to produce Tales from the Crypt <laughs> and lots of scary comics, and then they were... Uh, said to be communistic because wait mad was no 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 that was before mad started that oh, was sort okay. of one of the reasons mad started that that uh gains and other magazine people who had these grisly comics were br uh making kids into juvenile delinquents oh no <laughs> you can't you diggity if there's one thing i know you can't do that you can't you can't make the kids into juvenile no, delinquents. They to, no, they have to learn how to do it themselves. Exactly. You can't make them. They have to make themselves. That's exactly. uh, that's what I hear, at exactly. least. Exactly. Um, um, okay, I have. I do have those images. Um, oh, okay. So we, I'll just show them. The, the nothing earth shattering. Ooh, um, ooh, whoa. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, I I might have those images in a second. Once. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Here, um, let, me, let me make sure that I can get these uh, videos for us. Um, oh, uh, yes. There's a thing in the uh, thing about how J. Edgar Hoover hated Mad because they made fun of his name. <laughs> and Hoover? Like the vacuum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you can't blame Mad Magazine Electrolux. for that because, right. yeah. honestly, that's an easy joke to make. I mean, why? If your name is Hoover and there's a vacuum name Hoover, are you going to blame the writers? That yeah. doesn't seem that doesn't well, seem no, fair. They're, they're, they're not so confuse it with him. They called him J. Edgar Electrolux. So that way. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. then you know, Electrolux was another big vacuum company. Oh, okay, day. okay. I would have understand if it was nowadays. The joke would be J. Edgar. Uh, Dyson. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, let me find uh, this for you. Sorry. Okay. The, uh, uh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh no! Dang it! Okay, one second. Um, okay. Sometimes you know the PC just does not want to uh, to do what you want. to do what you want it to do. So you gotta make it work for us. And uh... Uh, Scooter X has a link up there. For a while, it was a Kickstarter project. So and they don't have an audience. So they need like Hulu or someone to. Uh, yeah, to buy yeah, it. or Netflix or right. Yeah, somebody that 
wants to put some money into streaming it. Did you feel like it was engaging, though? Oh, oh it was great. Oh, it was great. Good, yeah. good, good. Okay, here. I think that I have the images. There we are. There we um, go. So that was, that was the panel that I was on when we went mad. And sitting next to me on the right is John Ficarra, who was the editor. And on the left is Joe Rayola, who was associate editor. And then Alan in the middle was the guy who produced this uh, venture with the with the gray shirt. Yep. Yeah. And then next to him, Charlie Kadu, uh, and then the moderator. So that was fun. Uh, there were like 300 people in the audience, and I would say 200 of them stayed for the. And then that was uh, just go back to the other one. That was is a poster for when we went mad, and and we have. <laughs> various quotes have, i'm on the top quote 50 years at mad magazine and all i got was this crappy documentary <laughs> yeah, and, and, and a lot of uh you know so i can name them all just go down to the that's bottom. quentin tarantino for yes, sure. yes exactly yeah there's uh the names i can remember their names here but their names are at the bottom oh uh, uh, judd apatow okay. yeah yeah. Uh, Quentin Tarantino. Is that Weird Al Brian right there? Cranston. Weird Al. Yeah. Weird Al. Uh, a, uh, a Weird Al who in this documentary said, <laughs> I started his career because he was reading Mad Magazine and he said, oh, making fun of songs <laughs> is a fun idea. He thought, Although you he know, this satire stuff, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah. But he went is all the Is that Brian Cranston right in the middle? Uh, Brian Cranston. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait, what do y'all do with Brian Cranston? What is Brian Cranston a big Brian man? Brian Cranston. Wait, wait, this, this is all people's memories when they were a kid, and like Tarantino said, "Oh my God, when I read the mad satires, I would think, oh, one day I should be making movies." Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. It's, Brian it's, Cranston it's, is is absolutely one of my uh, icons. I oh, guess. Oh yeah. Is yeah. Um, when it comes to acting and everything and when i was uh working with brian i got the insane honor to go to his house what yes get this so me and brian brushwood this is very rare information i don't tell a lot of people this but for a moment brian really wanted to get a uh, a pilot made in Hollywood, and so we and he wanted he, he wanted a magic show, basically a magic special, and so we went to Hollywood and we teamed up mm -hmm. with a few producers and we had a production company behind us and we uh, before we could make the pilot we decided to make a sizzle reel where basically it's just kind of an idea uh, of like you know what just what the show could be, but it's only like a minute long, right? A pilot is a full episode, sizzle real small. It's just kind of like, what, what could be the biggest explosive events? So the whole idea was the show was doing magic and incorporating celebrities into that magic. And so we went, because of uh, the production company and some of the, the people who were managing that project, we, they knew Brian Cranston and they invited us over to his house and it was me, Brian Brushwood, Brian Cranston, and one other guy, and we just hung out with Brian Cranston, and it was my job to just record it all. I was the camera operator the whole time. Oh, oh, and we did magic for him, and he was the funniest, nicest, most genuine, welcoming person ever. And he invited us into his house. We also got to hang out with um, Greg Grumberg. Um, uh oh my gosh uh the fawns i forget his real name um harry winkler henry winkler henry winkler henry yes, winkler right. he was so everyone was so nice anyway all of that to say that brian cranston's i didn't realize he was connected to mad i love the guy i love 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 the guy yeah. well he was connected to mad with his love of Mad. exactly and exactly out, i didn't realize yeah. that is yeah. fantastic yeah so. Another reason for me personally to like the guy because because uh, that is really cool. Yeah, yeah, that, that's great. That's man, great. man, this is really really cool. So that's and the their poster, and uh, exactly. So we exactly. hope we hope. 
Now, did you like it? What was the? Uh, oh, uh, what's no, your I, critical I, I, review of it? Well, for, well, I'm in it a lot, so that was fun. But it was fun to know that Bill's father um, was like the inventor of comics. He started uh, stapling sheets of comics together, uh, uh, comic pages together, and he had a local newsstand, and the local newsstand started selling it, and. He, the, new, the local news said, we need a lot of copies. So he thought, well, maybe I should get a printer instead of <laughs> cutting these out. My, anyway, so. That's incredible. We, That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. So at the moment, there's no real great place to watch it. At no, the no, not at all. Not, not yet. N n no, not yet. So oh, we'll keep our hopefully fingers it'll crossed, come along. Because yeah. that is cool. That is very, yeah. very cool. And so that was the reason the show is on Friday. Uh, so that I could go to that event, but it was it was great because Tuesday I got to go to the an, an anchor press event. Okay. Oh, and good. I, I I took video, and then they said, "Please do not show any photographs you take here <laughs> until we send you the release date, except for one gadget." Okay. So I had a lot of video of the one gadget, but. Over the gadget, since all the gadgets were on the same table, you could see other no uh -oh. embargoed gadgets. You can't, you can't show the other no. things. No, no. So I'm going to show you a little bit of where, where the event was because it was beautiful. Um, it, it, it was in Manhattan. You, you could run that little video. Oh, cool. Here it is. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, it's called the Monarch Rooftop. And one of the, the great things about the Monarch Rooftop is it is one block away Ooh. from the Empire State Building. Ooh. So a great view. This is it right here, okay? That's the new Anchor product. And from this, we'll go right into the Anchor commercial. Oh, this is... Uh, I just picked up the info on the card, even though... And then there's going to be a strap available for it. It comes with a carry handle, but a strap is coming at the end of... Uh, and this is their commercial. A short commercial. So a few people in the wilderness, and it looks like 18 million devices plugged into one battery. Yes, yes. it has <laughs> se uh, seven ways to charge. <laughs> well, I am jealous. Cause this looks amazing. Looks like it has and three USB-C chargers, two USB-A's, plus a, what? Did I just read that right? 140 watt USB-A out. You can recharge with a solar uh, cell. Yes, and it has, that, it has a special DC plug that will yes. allow it to take in the solar. And it has a light on top. Yeah, uh, a three position light. That's it great. is uh, a 90,000 milliamp battery with a total output of 300 watts. Seven ways to charge your stuff. And you and you got the ports uh, down. Well, I am so, jealous. Yeah. Well, Do you know, know why? Go to the link. Boy. You know why I'm so jealous? Oh, wait a minute. Don't you have the original? I have the last version. Of course, times they are changing. You can't. I can't blame a company for coming out with a new product, but I do have the previous generation of uh, this exact gadget. And well, actually, there are two oh, versions oh, of it. Two. So go go to that link I sent you. Okay, and you can start scrolling down. So okay. uh, this is so it's it's ninety thousand milliamps, seven ports, built-in light. Uh, you can you you can solar charge with the external so this I don't understand you you yeah. get a free something small rig photography kit now small rig is a is a different company small rig is a like a uh, camera okay. accessory almost a cinematography accessory okay. uh, company well, like can, small rig can... is known for making a lot of camera accessories so it looks okay. like they're partnering with them. With so, them for a photography a chance kit. to win. Oh, every day they're giving away one of those. Okay, oh, I see, I see. so keep going down. Uh, uh, um. Ooh, oh, that's that's the charge. one that's 
that that was at the show. That is so interesting. So is this a f- flashlight? Uh, no, that's that, that, it's badly done. It looks like a mini speaker too. Yeah. Uh, that is the twelve volt power port. Oh. Okay. And okay, down a little uh-huh. further. Uh-huh. So there are the ports that you you get you guess yeah. them all exactly right. Yeah. See, here's the thing: is with mine currently, I have, uh, I think, two USB A's and two USB C's, and honestly, is like not enough because one of the USB C's is also the the in, and so if I'm charging it, I'm down to one one USB C and two oh. USB A's, uh, and um, anyway, honestly though, I will say this has been my favorite battery because. Oh, okay. It's massive. I mean, if it's charged, if it's at 90%, I know that I'm going to be good for laptops, cell phones, anything. I love the handle on top, which you can kind of see in this photo. The previous version has it as well. I don't know if I really care for the light on top. I have used it once or twice in a situation where it's just like, oh, I kind of need to see what I'm doing. Let me click it real fast. Um, And also that the DC port for the solar panels i have not found actually weirdly a lot of solar panels that you use that port i have some old solar panels that use actually a usb a out and they kind of work with the battery but they don't work with that port so that crazy like dc yeah it is it's It's neat but i have not found a lot of accessories that work with it um, well, since you don't miss the light on top, keep going down to see their second version that's coming out. I mean, it's, oh. they're being released together. Okay, more. Oh, Further oh, down. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Ah. There you go. Now there's a version with three AC. Oh, outlets. my gosh. It eliminates the light on the top. It looks like it gives you some type of option for a light. Yes, on the top. It, yes, it looks like a, a different light. It has 600 watts out as opposed to 300 watts for the other one. I like this a lot. You yeah, know, this, another thing that I'm just noticing here is that port right on the side. See that one? You know what yes, that yes. looks like to me? I don't know. I can't confirm. But it looks like one of those universal power plugs. I for, a, for AC, right? For a, for yes, yes, that you would because, typically plug into the back of like a computer or a monitor. Yes, yes, yes because uh, that one is wow. AC rechargeable. Wow. And, and three USB C I can see, and one USB A. That is very interesting. Extremely interesting. Huh. Now the the cost is going to be, and, and if, if let's see what what's today's date the twenty third yeah okay all right so they have a deal these are going to be on Amazon but the deal will only be on the Anchor website okay all right all right here it is I got a press release from them the the one we looked at mostly is called the three the C three hundred DC mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. is going to be. Uh, one ninety nine ninety nine, but up until August twenty seventh, fifty bucks off. Ooh. So one fifty. One yeah, one forty nine ninety nine, and the DC version, uh, the uh, AC version, is going to be two forty nine ninety nine, but during before August twenty seventh, it'll be one eighty nine ninety nine. So that's. Oh. Looks like sixty dollars off. Yeah, they get like more that. off. Yeah, yeah. For the, huh? But they I have. To be I'm surprised ordered. the AC one is so much more. But that AC stuff, I guess, adds a lot of complexity because you, <laughs> you got to go AC to DC, DC to AC. Yeah, Brutal. yeah. And something fascinating, if I understood the guy right, you can since it has three USB C and they're both in and out two of them are in and out you can charge out or charge in oh you can charge it through two of the usb c ports twice as fast twice as fast so you could charge it to 90 percent like in 20 i actually like that a lot because 
I can show you right now. I have all of these bricks just oh, laying around. Oh, there you around. go. There you go. See these? These are 30 watts each. So if I stick a USB-C into them, stick them in that. That's 60 watts. I can charge that thing. That's cool. I like that a lot because that is actually a thing that I run into mine now is I plug it into one and it's like, you know, it's all take an hour or to charge or whatever, which is nice. By the way, that screen on the t on the front of the battery, we haven't mentioned it very much, but there is a yeah. screen on the front of the battery. Uh, in my current one, I love it. I absolutely love that screen. It is so useful. I feel like every device should have that. It tells you how long it's gonna charge, how long until it's depleted, and yes. a few other bits of information, which is useful yeah. too. And is there an app for yours? Uh, no app. I, or okay. If there is, the I haven't one, used it. The new one, uh, all the visuals on the screen can come up on your phone. Mm. So if you want to, if it's, you're awesome. charging it somewhere else in the house, you can just look on your phone and say, oh, it's 99% charge. Perfect. Um, yeah. So I think they're, it, the release date is August 28th. And I assume they'll probably ship the next day or within the next couple of days. That's pretty neat. I pretty like it. Neat. I like it. When I this is an it, update said, to a product that, I, honestly, I've enjoyed a lot, and I bought it with my own money. They didn't even send yeah. it to me, so I appreciate it. Okay, awesome. and then uh, the other stuff, the, uh, everything is being released at uh, uh, IFA. Do you know about IFA? IFA? IFA. IFA. IFA Berlin is kind of their version of CES. I see, so I see. All the other gadgets that we saw are being released September 5th. Um, and But as I said, they decided they, they were going to release that thing earlier. Maybe they figured that's going to be a big hit. Maybe they figured Chad will buy one. They literally they knew it was <laughs> me who was their biggest customer. I bought yeah. one of the last yeah. generation. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, uh, wow. Okay. Okay. Tell me so about on, iced coffee. Yeah, this this gadget, well, I, I like it. And here's the video. What would you say if I said there was a way to make iced coffee without needing ice? What? No ice. Okay, it is possible with hyper chiller. Okay. This is a way to make iced coffee. Mm-mm-mm. Now I bought two of them. I'm going to show you how you set it up because the other one is already in the freezer. Uh, so, uh, you take it apart. <laughs> and then the company says, you only have to do this once. And I'm thinking, it looks like a Russian nesting doll. A lot. Yeah. Don't you have to do this every time? But now I realize you don't. All right. So this is what you do. There's a thing here that says Max. You fill that with water, just screw it back in, okay? That's part one done. There's another thing where it says max. Fill this with water, and then pour that water into here. And then screw this onto there. Really? And now put this onto there. Now, this has to go into the freezer huh. for 6 to 12 hours, okay? And I have a little bit of video from the company that shows you how the ice in here gets the coffee icy cold without watering it down. Those parts that we filled with water earlier, they're now frozen solid. So inside the product, there's two layers of ice cold stainless steel that are transferring all that heat out of the coffee without letting any dilution in. Okay, so the battery dies at the last minute. Dang it! And what is annoying is it didn't save the video. No! Uh, and uh, up until the battery died. So basically, I put the uh, hyperchilla here. I put in a K cup. You can still see it's still wet here from the K cup dripping down. And the K cup has, has gone directly into this. And then that's where the battery went dead. And then it just uh, deleted all of my, 
Boo! fine acting here in the kitchen. So now, in theory, this is no longer one take theater. It's just yeah, all ruined. Coffee. <laughs> We're going to pour it. Okay, a little pour spout here, and ah, this should be. So that was a, that was a a, a hot K cup coffee into that thing. So direct. remember, we made a K cup directly into this. Huh. So it was hot when it went into this. You know what? We had my uh, little thermometer here. You can drink this as iced coffee. You can actually see the mug is kind of that frosting. Is yeah, it, it looks like condensation. That, yes, this yes. really works. Okay, so if you were going to walk around, you would put ice in it. But the thing is, the coffee is so cold when you throw ice in it, the ice is not going to immediately melt. So I'm not near the computer, but Chad will. We'll go over to Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. Uh, see how much Hypercilla costs. I'd like that. Uh, um, to your health and my lack of sleep, because I'm drinking coffee <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> that is really funny. Um, I, I get, I get the point. I like it. Is, is you, you freeze the top solid, you freeze the bottom solid, you stick it in, or you, you do the water thing, you stick it in the freezer. And you, just once, so the water once. is always always in the in the container. And then after you've done the 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 thing the next that morning, after you've run it through and it's all cold, the solid ice keeps it cold. Throw it back in the freezer. I see. I see. Yeah, and uh, uh, one of the uh, paragraphs uh, 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 from the company says, and, and the the inventor, I, I think the guy in the video is the inventor, is if you kind of swirl it around in your hand it makes yeah. the coffee cold even faster right uh, it, it's right. very clever and right just imagine it, that that whole thing is an ice cube that can hold your coffee and it's not going to yes, dilute they, it yes they, you kinda, that's exactly what it is yeah, yeah yeah give it a little shake make sure it yeah. gets all the ice but it's not going to melt into the coffee and dilute it because it's in a stainless yeah, steel an container. an ice cold stainless steel surface ah. that your coffee is up against. Interesting. You know, it really seems like this product should exist. And should it have existed <laughs> for a long, long time? Yeah. And how have we not heard of it until now? <laughs> this seems like this the most simplest product ever. Freeze the thing, put your hot coffee into it, make cold, and reuse it. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I think it's $20 on Amazon. Scooter X found it. Wow. It seems to be also be $20 on uh, AliExpress. How much was it on Amazon again? Uh, on Amazon, uh, I checked it all week long. It was 17 and today I think it was 19 Here, here we go. Uh, um, uh, uh, there you go. There you are. Nineteen twenty four. 19 yeah. Here it is on... Oh, my God. 23,000 ratings? Yeah, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my. I guess we're the only ones who didn't know about it. Uh, seriously. But what's funny, what is funny, is that uh, when Scooter X found it out, it's more expensive on Oh, that's Ali's a riot. Yes. Than it is anywhere else. So you freeze it ahead of time, and then that morning, you want your... Ice coffee, you just pour your coffee through it. I yeah. like it. Directly from the pot. As I, like I said, I, I did the K-cup directly into... So the reservoir where the coffee goes, how big is that? Eight ounces? It, it, it holds 12 and a half ounces. 12 and a half yeah. ounces. So that's a, that's a pretty decent cup of coffee. If you are someone who needs 24 <laughs> ounces of cold coffee, just do it twice. Yes, that's right. You know, that's just right. run it through a second time. Um, that is cool. Uh, I, like I, I mean, I'm repeating myself, but it feels like this should have been a product that I knew about. <laughs> it feels like this should have been so, like if people love iced coffee and they don't want to stick just ice in there and dilute it. I, I'm honestly shocked that I hadn't seen this before. So yeah, me either. Um, that's why I bought it. Okay. Okay. Uh, the third gadget. You know, uh, it's it's a fun gadget. Here okay. you go. Okay. How many ceiling projectors should the average person have? Ah, uh, I would say two. Five. five. Oh, okay. Okay, because that's how many I have. Okay, okay. And I thought five is enough. 
until I saw that. Oh dun, my dun, gosh. Dun. I do wow. not have a swirling overhead projector with a moon. So I had to have it. Uh, uh, uh. The box it came in. Mm -mm. The device itself. And uh, a lot of problems. Okay. Oh, no. Problem number one. Uh, remote control. Battery was dead. I put in a brand new battery. The remote control does nothing. Okay. Oh. Um, mm -mm. Uh, I, I can't show you the uh, phone because we're using it for this video. But when I search for Bluetooth, it says, look for, I think, 63-A uh, or something. Um, I, <laughs> I got Alan's iPhone. I got so many weird things. I, when you live in the city, <laughs> your neighbors must have been... 13 Bluetooth, uh, <laughs> Apple TV. Uh, anyway, the A, whatever it was, that was not on there. So I can't pair it, but I can show you some features of it because I'm going to send it back, okay? Mm -hmm. At least it has some buttons right, on the top. Yes, yes, it has some, but yeah. At least. All right, that's pretty neat, I have to admit. And then you can change it into single colors if you want. Ooh, I know, I like, I love that. It's a very interesting pattern. I, I love this too. You know, it's like, I don't know, it reminds me of like a sandstorm. A whirlpool. Or a whirlpool. This is good for hypnotizing people. Yeah, it's like a, uh, um, okay. Let's go yeah, back like to one the of those, ceiling. Um, and... Sand gardens with the ridges in ah. it. You can mm. add stars to it. And then you can take the stars out, put brighter stars in, or add the moon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're getting mooned, Dickie D. And the moon, yeah, and I the know. Stars and the swirl. All right. And then, then you come down to, uh, down to here, to the unit itself. Because then you can start changing oh, the colors. The outside of it. The, yes, of the it, unit itself. Now, if the Bluetooth were hooked up, this would be dancing to the music. Okay, as I said, the Bluetooth does not work. And the thing is, it's it was uh, 23 bucks and 13% off. So I think it came to like $21. So, I don't know. Basically, I like it for, to go up there again. I do, I like it for this. So, I'm torn with just keeping it because this is probably the only mode I'm going to use. I'm not going to play music through it. Um, but I may return it, but I will get another one, I think. Uh, that's it. It, 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 an unbelievable, there, there's the name. <laughs> okay. Lots of luck in, with that. In the, the, in the, 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 the home. home. Yeah. Uh, that's it. So now I have six ceiling projectors. Nice. So, I, uh, I mean, I... Uh, it's not you. Uh, here's the thing. Yeah. I really like the last one you showed because it, it did a lot of what you sh what you talked about. I, I was just kind of Googling around. I found a, a similar one, not exactly the one you showed. But oh, I remember, yes, that's, yes. I remember the head was positionable, and you could point yes, it around, you, yes. and it, it had a, a, it didn't quite do the exact same thing. This is not what we're talking about, by the way, just to not confuse people. Um, this is just a different gadget. Um, it didn't do quite the same pattern, but... I liked it so much better, and it was around the same price. And so the one you showed um, today, it points just straight up, which I yes, don't like as much, correct. basically. And then, of course, it had all the other issues uh, with it. So, yeah, it's a hard, I feel like it's a hard sale. I would get the yeah. other one. Now, this one also has white noise, which I, oh. I, I think you need the remote control. Actually, the replacement came today. And I, I just took the, the remote out of the box, and it turned the unit on. Oh, so good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. The remote the works. The so, other one worked. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. But you, you're it. right. The, the little rocket guy is, is, is kind of good looking. Yeah. And, uh, kids would love the rocket guy better. Yes. And you can, you, you can, you can uh, point his head around. Yeah, yeah you can point, point his head around. around. He's like, ma- the, the neck is like a magnet. So you yes. can just any way you yeah. want. Um, yeah, you you are. I mean, you, there's pluses and minuses because the the base has some really cool LED effects, which the rocket guy doesn't uh, that we showed before. Uh, this one has a different, a completely different pattern on the top. Yeah, um, and also the 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 little guy, standing guy, you cannot use on the ceiling because he'd break his head off. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean you can get him sort of on the ceiling. This it just, just falls goes, off after yeah, a moment. This, this of, just goes straight up. <laughs> this only does the ceiling. So, That's a good point. Anyway. That's a good point. Uh, the, uh, the the price is exactly like you mentioned in the video as uh, 23 and the same exact 13% off. Oh, they're still off. involved. <laughs> the, yeah. Which is such a... It's so weird, isn't it? 13? Thanks for letting me do the math. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out what 13 out of 23 is. I, but I think you were, I'm glad you already bought it and said it was around uh, 2021. 20, yeah, um, yeah. So there you go. I mean, I, they're cool. I really, I, I mean, I, I have used them in a few rooms, uh, the Galaxy projectors. I think I only have one. So okay. not quite your five or six <laughs> but i do have one and i really enjoy it i really do and um it's a great it's a great thing uh either to just hang out with friends around just add some ambiance to hang out with yourself you know just like the night light it's a it's a great way to uh liven the room and yeah. it's just light and not ha- and not have to paint the ceiling exactly exactly it's just <laughs> exactly it's just light yeah yeah it's fantastic <laughs> Uh, Becky just found, look at this, $5.34. What? Yeah. What? It's not quite the same. The, 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 I, the, the, a lot of it is different. Yeah. A lot of it is different. But, uh, anyway, look at that. Five bucks. Boy, that's pretty, that's pretty Scooter X actually sent it to Becky. I misread. Oh, okay, okay. I misread the uh, chat. Scooter, I sent it to Becky. Anyway, uh, let's head into the crappiest Ooh. of corners. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. Well, here we are. This is the gadget. Look, look at this thing. This is the whole gadget, not ge- just a piece or part of the gadget. Um, the thing is, is that I think it's it's pretty simple to. I mean, it's a. Are you gonna open it into a clock? Right? Literally, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it is kind of fun. Um, I recorded yeah. a uh, video about it earlier, so there okay. it is. And uh, let's take a look. Hey, diggity. So we are here with another time-based gadget, and today we are taking a look at the vibrating alarm clock. Uh, It comes in a few different colors. Uh, Really, the packaging doesn't have a lot to be desired. Dream Sky is the brand. You can see the Amazon uh, behind us here. Uh, I will note right off the bat, $26 uh, for this clock, so it better be pretty good. Uh, it has a very good manual, uh, and by good, I mean that I can read the words without a magnifying glass. comes with a USB-C charging brick that is an actual, like, you know, <laughs> AC to DC brick, which is kind of cool. And it comes with this really long cable, uh, not cable, this is like a, a rope, like a string that you would uh, put to it. I, I don't quite understand. What, I've never seen one quite this long. I, maybe it works because this is an alarm clock and there's a little loop here to like keep it on your wrist. Like I really can't think of that. Maybe because it is vibrating, as we said. Dream Sky, the brand. Open it up. Inside, uh, there's just a little important, uh, hey, make sure to charge it before you use it. And I did. Um, and so here, here it is. It looks like a little clamshell sort of thing. On the front, you have a big snooze button, and you also have a small shake-off button. 
I wish it was just called the off button because this is actually the little button. You know, you know what a snooze button is. Well, this is the off button to just stop the alarm uh, for the day. It is a clock. Uh, you got a DC or you got your uh, USB-C in uh, and then that's really it. Over here, it kind of looks like an IR port, but this is actually the battery indicator. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, when you, oh, I need to turn it on first. That's why you got to flip the switch to on. Uh, and then this will work as a battery indicator when you hit the snooze button oh, okay. or uh, the off button, it'll show up uh, right there. Inside, uh, you have an on off uh, switch and a whole bunch of buttons. I'll just point out, I'm not gonna go through every single one, I'll just point out individual buttons for setting the time, the time zone, which is really nice, and uh, all the alarm stuff. Uh, basically buttons for everything, including plus buttons, which was is really, really nice. Over here is also some sliders, uh, and this is for your alarm. So if it's in the middle, alarm is off. At the top, it'll make an audible sound alarm and the whole thing will vibrate. Remember, that's the whole point, it's a vibrating alarm. Uh, down, it'll just vibrate. So if you're worried about uh, waking up your partner or whatever, uh, just vibration mode is for you. It's small, slim. Maybe you could even fit this into a pillow or a pillowcase, uh, which is kind of nice. So let's go through uh, what it would take to set the alarm. It's uh, 6.04 now. So I'd click the alarm set and uh, click and hold. And then it goes to the alarm, which is nice that you see the current time and the alarm over there. I really like that. So we'll get to six and then move it over here and head to 05, let's do 05, hit alarm set. I'm gonna switch it to uh, both the vibrate and the alarm. One thing I will point out is this shake button. You can change how much it vibrates. So this is a small little vibrate, you know, and so you, you have five different levels of vibration, which is kind of nice. Oh, and now it, it vibrated so much it closed. Uh, I'm gonna keep it closed for, for just a minute, minute as we go look at the uh, Amazon page while we wait for it to go off so you can kind of hear what the alarm uh, sounds like. Uh, two other colors are available, white and this teal. There we go. The alarm is going off. You can see it kind of coming out from over there. It's vibrating a bit and you can hit the snooze button to snooze it. That snooze will be nine minutes long. That cannot be changed. You'll notice the alarm button is blinking. That shows that it's in snooze. When you are finally awake enough and have snoozed enough, you can hit the off shake button. Eh, if I hit it now, then you'll see the alarm stops blinking and that's how you know uh, that you're ready to go. Got a whole bunch of good reviews, uh, but like I said, 26 bucks. Do you think it's worth it? for $26. I will say that I've been uh, happy with the quality, like every, every holding it, it feels really great. Uh, the instructions are really well written. Um, it's just a, every switch and every button feels really tactile and clicky and really nice. So it feels really high quality. Um, uh, another thing uh, that it mentioned is when it gets down to really low battery, uh, that it'll beep like every minute, like every 60 seconds, it'll beep, which is kind of annoying but also, if you're worried about your alarm, not waking you up in the morning, useful. Um, anyway, that has been the Dream Sky Vibrating Alarm Clock, uh, which I think is uh, pretty cool, but expensive. One more thing <clears throat> to mention is that as it came to me from the packaging, uh, the timer was already set, which is kind of, the time was set, I mean to say, um, because it's like, I guess, a you know, a DC battery. They gave it a little bit of charge in the factory. Set the time already, so all I had to do was set the time. Was, is it auto? It's auto time set. Yeah, thing, and it was right? auto time set, which yeah. is kind of nice. I didn't have That's to set the time. Um, what, what is what is the markings inside the lid? This is the time zone, so it's a little key. Oh, oh. Um, to, because you can choose between five different time zones, but they're all the Americans. So oh. when you go and hit the uh, time zone button. It just shows one, two, three, or five, and so it lets it kind of gives you key to what one through five means when it comes to America. So it's a little America. Oh, okay. Uh, down there. Another thing is in the instructions they mention that on full charge and turned on, this should last for sixty days, which is two months. So I haven't had enough time to test that out. But uh, that's a good claim uh, from the instructions um, that uh, one charge will last for two months, 
which yeah. is great. Um, it also got a lot of really good uh, reviews, honestly, on uh, online, um, on Amazon, uh, as you can see. Really, the only downside is that it's 26 bucks. Is that it seems yeah. more on the expensive side of gadgets um, than any of the other things, you know. And it's just an alarm, so it seems like it could be cheap. You know, clocks aren't that expensive, basically. But yeah, so far I've liked no, it. Yeah, no. I think it's cool. I, and, and if you're someone who's really, really worried about waking up someone... Yeah. And you need something vibrating and that isn't uh, audible. I can't think of many other solutions. Like it's like this gadget and maybe using your phone and making sure you set it in a certain setting where it's only vibration. Uh, that's really it. Um, so so it's nice. Yeah, if you have to get up, it's worth the money. I like it. I like it. And I appreciate that it's USB C. Perfect. With that, let's move Perfect. into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Bye. Our email is from Lawrence Wengler, W-E-N-G-L-E-R, who writes, Hello, Dick and Chad. I made a little video of my favorite home automation gadget. Oh. And here is Lawrence's video. Hi, Dick and Chad. I'm sending in this video of my favorite home automation gadget. Oh. The SwitchBot Blind Tilt. I like it's that. a small battery powered motor that snaps on to the blind tilt rod of any home uh, blinds. It, it allows you to open it uh, by remote control with an app on your phone. Let me show you. I know Chad was ranting recently on all the individual <laughs> apps on the phone and having yeah. to keep track of them. But this one, you can set up a schedule to open and close so you don't have to find the app. I love or this. Or if you purchase uh, for an additional $39.95, the SwitchBot Home Hub, you can do this. Hey, Google, close huh? the office blinds, please. I need that. Yes. It was really easy to install. I just snapped a little gear on the uh, blind tilt rod and then the motor snaps on top of it. And to keep the battery charged, it comes with a little solar panel that you stick on the window. Oh. And as long as you have uh, good sunlight during the day, it'll keep the battery charged. Oh, that's I've awesome. I've had mine for a year and I've never had to recharge the battery. It always stays 100%. So uh, I really hope you, uh, like this video and find it helpful. You can find this on, of course, Amazon. Have a great day. Love the show, guys. Oh, and as icing on the cake, I'm recording this with the Anchor wireless microphones that Dickie ah! D mentioned <laughs> on episode 2000. When he mentioned they were half price, I went and snapped the pair right Heck up. Heck yes! Thanks, guys. Appreciate great. all you do for us and all the information you give us. Great. That is Lawrence wonderful. Is, I may have ended that a little soon. That is great. Lawrence For is in chat. Lawrence so is many in reasons. Chat as Uncle Lala. Uncle Lala. So Lawrence, uh, um, this is really fun. I agree. This is really neat. And I have, uh, I have looked for similar products like this. Um, I honestly have never seen uh, SwitchBot. And so I'm really glad that you showed it off because I have wanted to automate my blinds in basically the exact same way. I don't need them to raise or lower. I don't, I just, I just have normal blinds. You can't see here, but I have normal blinds and I'd like them just to open or close and come sunset, close, you know, come the morning, open. And uh, the biggest issue is that is A, many of the peripherals are so expensive. They're just like, 
$100 per one blind. And it just doesn't make any sense. And then the other option is it's $100 and then you still have to power the device somehow. So with this, which it looks great, it looks fantastic, is only $70, so less expensive. And it comes with the solar panel. Yeah, that's that's very clever. That that's is cool. Clever. That is really yeah. cool. And 15% off. Look at that. And if you need several of them, I see you can get three. Yes, you know. they did have that here. Let me go back yeah. and look at that. They had a deal where you could get three instead and $20 of And $20 off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Now I just need to buy some Venetian blinds. <laughs> True. I mean, uh, luckily, my place comes with them. Uh, but yeah, this would be, this is like almost exactly what you need. And, and if you have vertical blinds, that seems like it'd be really nice too. Anyway, great gadget suggestion. I did not know that this gadget existed, and I had looked for a similar one. So uh, really, thanks for the suggestions, Lawrence. That's great. So if you have a gadget like Lawrence, make a little video, okay? Uh, Lawrence hit all the right things. Horizontal format, be able to hear him describe the gadget and a great video of it working. If it's an old, old gadget and it doesn't work, you can still show it off because we love to see how far technology has come in all these years. Or you can show us a brand new gadget like Lawrence did anything, make a little video, one to three minutes, uh, put it up on YouTube. And when you upload, there is a menu and you want to pick unlisted. And that way only people with the URL will be able to see your video and send that URL to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. I think we have one more video in house. So get us a video. Do it now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the Gizwiz letters now. Now. Um, oh, I'm glad that I see the eye clock. Okay. This is from Michael Manley, who says the subject is the eye clock. Uh, hey, Dick and Chad. Uh, during the live stream, Chad said the hour eye of the clock was moving. Is it possible the clock was built backwards? I think it is. With minutes on the left and hours on the right? What if you flipped it 180 degrees and set the time? Uh, thanks. Keep up the great work and the show. Um, um, Michael Manley. Also known as Michael 270. He's exactly there. right. In fact, oh, so, they are back. Yes, I had speculated at the very end of the episode, and I think me and Becky were talking about it, about how I kind of suspected that the minutes and the hours was flipped, which is funny because on the on the back, printed inside of the plastic, say it says you know minutes on this side, hours on this side. And it would make sense. You'd think hours. I mean, well, it's also what they said on Amazon was that hours is on the left and that minutes is on the right. But yes, in watching the eyes move and playing around with the back, they they messed it up. They put the hours on the left hand side oh my God. and the minutes oh my. on the right hand side. <laughs> and you can just flip it upside down uh, to make it right. It is obviously upside down. I don't know if you can see, but see this little bar right There's here. There's a little base. That's the base, right? And on the other side, it doesn't have that because that's the top. So there's obviously a bottom, but when you use that bottom, it's wrong. <laughs> this is this will be the minutes and this will be the hours. You know, so you, didn't you didn't you pop the eyes out to put batteries in them? You can, but the eyes don't do anything. The eyes are just attached to you know the motors. And oh, the motors oh. are the thing that are setting. These little things are what oh, is setting. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Uh, 
absolutely correct that the eyes have they installed them wrong <laughs> and if i want to make them work i just have to flip the whole thing upside down or well, look in a mirror <laughs> in a mirror yeah. you know i should have how, sim how, how, how simple is that how, exactly now i don't know time. what time it is the other funny thing though is also <laughs> like if you set the time with it with the base correctly and then need to flip it now it's exactly the opposite you know if it was six now it's 12 <laughs> or what if it was six now it's 12. it's just anyway yeah. this is definitely in the crummiest of crummy categories yeah. like this may need to be on the on the top crummiest list <laughs> Coming at gadgets. the end of the year. Yeah. Because we, yeah, so, I speculated yeah. it at the end of the episode, and that email, that letter is absolutely correct. They are flipped, <laughs> uh, which is honestly just so funny to add That's to the. So, funny. so Michael, you guessed story. it. You yeah. guessed it. Yes. Yes. Absolutely true that uh, <laughs> they installed them incorrectly. So thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks for. Uh, uh, sending that letter over. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons over at Gizwiz, patreon.com slash gizwiz or gizwiz.tv. Uh, and there's a Patreon tab at the top of our website, and uh, there'll be a big banner that'll take you to our Patreon page. However you support the show, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to our patrons. Thank you to those of you who support us on PayPal. Thank you so much for giving back to the Gizwiz. If you like the show, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Once again, patreon.com slash gizwiz or gizwiz.tv and click on the Patreon tab at the top of our website. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where we record the show live just about every Thursday. Today we're on a Friday, but uh, if there's ever a schedule change, it'll be on our website uh, right at the top. And uh, here we are live with the show uh, right now. And... Uh, Tune along, tune in whenever we're live. Tune in with the chat room. We really appreciate that. And, uh, of course, see all of our previous episodes there after the fact uh, on our website, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, the Ziggity's website, where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you ever need a link back to a gadget or a reminder about what we talked about, gizwiz.biz is the place to go. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? This is the game show online where you get to guess the gadget, and this is the whole gadget, not just a piece or a part of the gadget. Um, and uh, this is obvious. Uh, the gadget is, uh, is just obvious uh, to me. You'll notice these these little loops um, right here. This is for your luggage, uh -huh. and this is a straw. And uh, you <laughs> use this with, uh, you put a little keg in your luggage, and the straw just comes right out there. Oh, it's wow. like uh, to make a little kegerator in your carry-on. Wow. Um, so if you I think you know what this gadget is. is, even though I just gave it away, I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, you think you can get a guess in gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for the correct answers, 12 mad magazines for co funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get on guessing over at gizwiz.biz. And I should point out, in summer, entries fall off. So if you want to, you should get in because we haven't even hit 100 entries yet, which is unusual. Summer is so, the slow season for guessing? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I think people are off. They're all the beach just and enjoying their yeah. summers <laughs> off. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's very funny. So, so get a get guess, your guess in. in. Yeah, get your guess in. You got like a week, one or yeah. two uh, left uh, yeah. until it rolls over. So get a guess. In. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>